Andy House would like to introduce the story. The Ghost at Starfruit Tree. The last part. The terrible truth of my best friend's family. The next day. When I went to the market to buy food. I naturally asked Sun the night was good. Sun said normally. Silent for a while. Sun added. I dreamed my mother. Is it nice dream? Sun said he only dreamed of his mother like before. When Sun went to college. I was about to tell Sun my strange dream but stopped. Because in general. I didn't want to mention fear again. That night. I dreamed that she appeared. This time I exclaimed. Who are you? She kept swaying and crouching in my direction. But she had not come yet. I was awake and breathed heavily. Sweating all over my back. I'm scared. The next day I dreamed the same way. I'm tired of losing sleep. At noon on the tenth day. We visited our old friend. Sun was surprised to see that I had just arrived and said three sentences that had fallen on the sofa and slept a long time in the afternoon. That night I was too afraid to take a nap. I was going to tell Sun. But I think about it again. Only tonight. We have to go to the train station tomorrow to Saigon. Well, just try to keep him from being afraid like me. I ask. I want to play chess until morning. Do you want to join with me? Play two games. Sun raised his hand, surrendered and slept soundly. Left alone. I started to feel scared. The night was dense. The oil lamp that I had turned up so high could not illuminate every dark corner. I imagine that someone is watching me everywhere at all times. So I don't dare to squirm. This is worse than sleeping. Fear increases when consciousness works. My eyes suddenly curled up, the sleepiness pulled in. I wrapped my arms around the Buddhist scriptures picked up under the table when shining on my stomach and fell heavily. I found myself sitting up and walking out. It is raining, the darkness is dark. I looked around the dark and vaguely didn't know what to do. I suddenly thought that I would stumble if I went in the middle of the dark like this. Thinking like that, a lightning flashed. I could see in front of me a path. I walked like a sleepwalker. Suddenly, my legs were blocked by something cold. I stopped, intending to turn and run. But a cold hand held my hand. And... Suddenly I saw her face. White. Two black eye holes deep. Her mouth was just a black hole without tongue and teeth. Her hair was wet and streaked with zigzag black lines on her frightened face. However, I have a feeling she is very familiar. Her mouth gaped. Not moving, but I heard a weak voice. Bomb, save me from here. Oh my god. Right. Here she is. Son's mother. Son. Son. I tried my best to get out of her hand to call Son. Then I woke up. The night is still dense. It seems that I am no longer on the sofa next to Sun. My back was wet and wet. Reaching around. I touched the large basin. I screamed and ran up and ran. I concentrated all my attention on the direction of the entrance to the house and went off like a spring under my heel. Sun is sleeping soundly. No longer hiding the story. I woke him up. I told Sun from the beginning to the end. Sun was shocked and did not believe and stared at me as if considering the matter. Suddenly, Sun patted my shoulder and said, Starfruit tree. Sun ran into the warehouse and took out a sledgehammer. I searched my backpack for a flashlight. After seven eight hammer blows, this big pot was broken. I trembled almost to drop the flashlight. The starfruit tree tilted each bone, long and short, it was scattered. I covered my mouth to cope with panic. 
Sun is no different from me. He was a bit calmer, maybe because he doesn't have to go through a nightmare. Sun motioned for me to bring the flashlight closer. The skull was stuck in the big root. The hair curled with the roots into a bunch. The smell of pungent air faintly floated in the wind. Sun stood still, staring at the pile of bones, his tension slowly squeezing him. Suddenly seeing something shining in and out of the soil, I pointed to Sun and took out the cane. A tiny golden Buddha image made him scream in the late night. It was a memento of grandmother that Sun's mother often held in her palm while reciting Buddha's name. The choking mother of Sun choked out and heard pain. Sun poured down clenching his fist tightly against the inanimate ground. I wiped the two rows of tears with my hands and listened to my resentment and resentment despite not knowing who is heartless. Son's mother missing case was overturned. Poor, my friend complained on the way of education. In the autumn of the following year, he could be assured of completing his graduation report. Son's situation is very pitiful. All evidence is unfavorable for Dr. Hung, Sun's father. Half of Sun's mother's assets will be his. He had a relationship with the nurse while Mother Sun was assigned to a psychopath. In fact, he had given his wife sleeping pills for years, causing her mental instability. There were a few people on the day who witnessed to the police that they saw Sun's mother climbing a bus and now everyone has a decent piece of land given by Mr. Hong. Finding the one who harmed her mother was her father. Sun looked extremely poor. Sun didn't say anything for two months, causing me to worry. Since then, I have never met Ghost again. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to support Andy House. See you guys in the next videos.